Oh, and we're live. <laughs> Hello, and we are back to report on some drones over Colorado. Hello. And we'll be back next week. That's all we know. Welcome to the news desk. <coughs> Joseph and I have been practicing our news anchor voices, and it's very hard to emulate. Okay, so welcome. This is the Aaron in Wonderland podcast. I'm Aaron. I am Joseph. Um, we're sibs. <laughs> we're binary sibs. Um, anyways, I'm Aaron. This is Joe. Um, we talk about otherworldly things and that's Aaron. I don't know, just weird stuff. I'm Joe. So, uh, anyways, yeah, today we're gonna talk about the mysterious swarms of drones that have been seen over Colorado, Nebraska, and Kansas. <gasps> Gasp. So, like, lately our podcasts have just been on, well, well not lately, I guess. We've been really excited about things this that happen in Colorado. This is only our third podcast. Will you shut the hell up and stop <laughs> telling people how many there have been? <laughs> Why? you got to start somewhere. <sighs> got to rewind. And action. <laughs> this is only our third podcast. All right. Is that where we are at? No, I hate whenever Chris even said it the other day. He's like, "Hey, when I'm listening to a podcast, and they're like, this is our first one. Wish us luck. Uh, I didn't say our audio might not be good. We're great, Aaron. Just let it rip, tater chip. Let it rip. That's what Chris tells me when we stop at rest stops on the road. (laughs) Just let it rip. (laughs) He just let it rip. He's talking about when I open potato chip bags. He's like, open the potato chip bags. Okay. So anyways, today, yeah, we're talking about the Colorado drone strikes. I don't know. The Colorado drone mystery that's happening right now. Um, it's pretty weird, right? And it's very close to where we live. Very close. Um, and as recent as, like, at, when we're recording this, as recent as a few days ago, they were spotted in... Castle Rock, which is the first like major city that they've been spotted in, so it's kind of like weird. Do you feel like scared at all, or like weirded out that it's so close, or do you think it's just something? I don't know. We're gonna cover, <sighs> we'll dive deep we're, into we're it. I guess we're gonna cover a lot of different topics, but I don't know. From from everything that like we gathered, it seems like oh, <laughs> like most people just don't know enough about them to even draw. Uh, a positive conclusion on like what way they're leaning towards them dude it's like legit a mystery and so many people are just scratching their heads about it and i feel wondering... like it's just pissing people off more because they're going over people's houses and stuff like that and people are just like just dump off this get off my land that's one of the things that i heard on a podcast it was like um or it wasn't even a podcast it was like a news report i think and they were saying they were like oh people know what area of the country this is, and people like their privacy here. So, um, I, feel I don't like, know. I just I, feel like... I feel like that's, like, anywhere, though. People, well, I guess, like, if you're living in New York and, like, more highly populated areas, you're, like, more used to bumping into people. Yeah, but, like, dude, because they're, like, they're in areas where, like, people just have, like... Yeah, it's just, like, farm Tons land. and tons of land, yeah. And, like, they're, like, fenced off and have, like, and I don't know. People complaining about them just, like, hovering over. Well, maybe we should rewind a little bit and go okay, back yeah. to, like, Anyways. when it started. Because this started back before Christmas. Well, wait. Let's talk. Right? Let's just talk a little bit, like, about like I just want to talk a little bit about the YouTube channel and the Patreon that we just started. So the YouTube channel is YouTube.com/slash Aaron in Wonderland. Go there and subscribe. We put all the podcasts on YouTube, and we also do like video game walkthroughs and a lot of giveaways. And the Patreon it will help the podcast to cover more topics and as well as help us do more giveaways on the youtube channel as well as the podcast i'm sure we'll like do a crossover at some point and do like a um giveaway with the podcast as well or do something where i eat some chili peppers i think paul i think dad's home is Dan is that, home? Is, is, is Papa arrived? <sighs> also, when we, re- we reach 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to eat a ghost pepper. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Joshua Hollins. Day 1A1, Jay Halls. 
Um, he was the winner of our first contest, and he left a comment on one of our podcast videos about Joe's wiener challenge, where he's going to swallow all those wieners. <laughs> and he suggested that Joe does the ghost pepper challenge when we get to 10,000 subscribers. And Joe agreed to do that I'll one. Do it. I like hot Which stuff. seems way more reasonable. You'd think you would do that one first and then get to the, but, you know, to each their own. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to get out of the hot dog one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you would ever have agreed to it. I feel like so, I will think of something better than that at that time. Ugh. You know, just watching, you know what really gave me confidence is watching that one guy that, had, like, the, that had the mullet and he was like, <laughs> and it was spitting them back out. <laughs> guys, look it up. There's some guy who literally swallows them and like launches them. Maybe it's like, well, no, because then somebody would have to be throwing he them looks, into his mouth. I was thinking like, it was like reverse, you know, like somebody just rewinded it. You know what I just it, realized like, right now is he's like, I bet you he's Brett Michaels' brother. He has the bandana, oh, long flowing he hair. He did look like Brett Michaels. Right? He had the bandana. He's Chet Michaels. <laughs> Chet Michaels, the, the sword swallower. <laughs> I don't think his name would be Chet, though. I think it'd be Rhett, like R-H-E-T-T. No, Rex. They call him Rex. <sighs> I don't even remember what the guy's name Rex was, but Michaels. shout out to him. We're talking about him. He's popular. Weird, dude. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so anyways, how was uh, your day today? It was pretty it was warm out today. It was, it was horrible. Nice. There's these, there these 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 people just riding right out on their hoverboard, walking their dog, oh, cutting yeah. me off. We bought a hoverboard, and it is revolutionized our lives like it's seriously watch so us transform into funny. our 600 pound life because of it. oh yeah it, it's just pushing me further and further into obesity like i bet so but i don't know you kind of got to be a little agile to be able to maneuver it because it was complicated whenever we we're first trying to use it i had to like hold on to this like pull up bar thing that we have to like stabilize and even then it was like spinning out of control but um we've gotten better at it and it's been pretty fun i took a pretty rough spill today Still don't know if I got like. We gotta get you elbow and I shin pads pants. and wrist guards. Oh yeah, I need like all the protective gear. So, anyways, yeah. So today we're gonna talk about the mysterious drones spotted over Colorado, Nebraska, and Kansas. They're like giant, expensive drones. They're not like little because we actually have one. And it's like a fleet of them. It's not we actually just have one. like a little drone. Yeah, and it's a whole fleet of them exactly. Mm-hmm. Like it's like these giant ones. How, yeah, we have a little, like, we have a little baby drone. See, as like many as like thirty. Ten inches wide. That's what I'm saying. And even that was like, how much even was that? Like a hundred bucks. That was fifty bucks for the okay. one I got. <laughs> Shout out to Costco's. Hey Costco, thank you for the drone. Um, but it's tiny and like even, but but like even that I guess is like it's fifty bucks. You know, fifty. Hey, that's fifty bucks. I'm walking it. Fifty bucks. We're confident. Fifty camera bucks. To has a lot of stuff. A lot of so, features. yeah. So nobody knows who's flying these things either. That's why it's like the mystery drones because, like, we'll we'll get into the different um, organizations I guess that have been involved and questioned. But like <coughs> so far, like no one has come forward and been like, "These are my drones," and it just doesn't make a lot of sense because they're not like. Uh, We'll get into the details of who has come out. Because and they're said, aliens. Dun, dun, dun. So they're flying for like huge distances and flying for hours at a time. <coughs> and I didn't know that drones could fly that long at all. Like whenever you charge yours, how long does it go for? Like a half hour? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's what I mean. If and you even buy, you, If you go buy like a good one at Best Buy or go to Walmart or look around or even go online and get like a $20,000 one, they only fly up to like 30 minutes. With the batteries that they have. What? Dude, that's they probably, crazy. They, you could probably get like a better one that flies oh, longer. Oh, but this is why. So they think but, that there's like a yeah. vehicle, like a control center that are like controlling these things. This just sounds crazy. Like, I can't believe this is real. I'm excited this is mainstream news because like, yes. <laughs> <coughs> um, but. Uh, International. Worldwide. Oh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I threw you off. Oh, no, it's okay. They fly for hours. Oh, so yeah. So they fly for hours at a time and they're like enormous, like non, I always want to say non-commercial, but I don't think that's what I mean. I think I mean non like a commercial, like available to consumers. It's not like consumer grade level. 
shit we're talking about here. These are like industrial things. So it's very weird. They think that I mean, there's you like could, a you could buy them, command. but you have a good chunk of money if you're yeah, buying but there's them. A you're not ton buying of a them. fleet of them. That's what I'm saying. Like you're not buying a fleet of them. And if even if it is like a large group of people who each like have one, no one's keeping quiet about this. Like it's it's become national news. At this point somebody would want just like the fame. Yeah, the of publicity of their fifteen minutes. So anyways, now, they, yeah. But at the same time, maybe weird. someone thinks, like, if I tell them it was me, I'm going like, to get in trouble. Ugh, yeah, it's pretty... Let's fly. Let's keep flying them. I mean, it's weird. It's definitely weird. Okay, so just, like, a little backstory. It was Christmas week, around the 23rd, that people started reporting swarms of drones. They use the word swarms, which is, like, actually terrifying. That's a lot. Can you imagine, like, I, 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 we live, like, very close to where they've been Probably seeing... Probably sound like a bunch of bees coming flying in on you, like... Mm. Yeah, because you know, I was thinking about quiet? it, and I was like, "I mean, if they're people... like, if they're like, if they're that good, they maybe they're a little bit quiet." But I guess anything moving to that. <sighs> well, speed. people did report like buzzing and stuff, and then like being over their house. And I heard today that they were only flying like two or three hundred feet off of the ground, which yeah, is think, crazy. Because think how loud just mine is, and mine just has those little propellers on it. Oh yeah, yeah, and and so like it would be like multiple. Can you like that actually would be like horrifying. You would think it was something crazy going on. So, so the sighting spread over six counties in Colorado and Nebraska. I just pictured like a a, a bunch of old people out there and then flying over there like you goddamn kids get out of here <laughs> like throwing get out rocks. of my airspace. <laughs> Yeah, I could see that too. But for real though, like, I mean, aside from it being like annoying, it's like very unnerving. And I think that like people maybe in the wild, wild west don't want to like express how scary it actually is. So they're just like, oh, this is inconvenient. Like, and I, I like angry about it. But I like how too everyone's first reaction was, we'll just shoot them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Colorado like governor or someone is coming out and is like, do not shoot them down. There's criminal charges if you shoot them down. So it was in northeastern Colorado and southwestern Nebraska, mostly in rural areas at first. And one man said he saw them out every night, at least 17 of them, flying 200 or 300 feet in the air. And like I said, this is like mainstream news. At this, It's made international news. It's not like some like hillbilly back. It's not no like Chuck Elderberry out there. Mm. Like just like, hey, I done got abducted and probed. Like these are a lot of people that are all seeing the same things. And like the government is like worried about it. So like they recently have been moving closer to Denver and a lot of people said they looked surreal like something like a movie and one guy tried to chase it in his car and he said it had to have been going over like 100 miles an hour you can um, zip with those things but yeah do Especially drones go 100 miles an hour like that seems so ridiculous probably go like and 46 like, what miles is, an like, hour I, there's okay so then there was also like the law passed before about the regulation of drones and it's like is there really any regulation on them because like Amazon and like things are using them to like deliver packages, you know, like it was, it was Amazon testing their fleet. Dude, I swear. And Amazon's like, Buy shit, information, we, can't, brothers. we can't afford this. So and what, aviation uh, experts have been consulted about it and they say that it's, they're probably not consumers flying them, but I mean like they're probably not consumers flying them. What does that even mean? You know, like, I, I think it just means we don't know. It sounds like, like they're just saying, we don't know what it is. So they're six feet across, but, and again, how do how do people know they could even be bigger, you know, or smaller because I don't know. I just feel like people aren't that good at judging like how high they're flying or how, and, and the more you like recall, yeah, it's not like these things are happening every day. If you're seeing it like every day, yeah. you have a better recall of like what it well, was. Well, not like. only that, but like the more you recall and like the more like dramatic it seems, you know, you're like, oh, they were this big. They were this big. So, um, I don't know. But local police are investigating and holding conferences with surrounding agencies. Um, the FBI is involved. And they're involved because, like like I said, these drones are huge and they're super expensive. They're like $100,000 each. And, like, it's estimated. And so if there's, like, 30 of them, that's, like, what, $3 million or something like that? I don't know. That's a lot of money. A so lot of bling, that bling. was the Chris made a point earlier because I was like, why don't they just like shoot them down if it's like a matter of national security? And I don't know. I don't know if that's a dumb thing to say, but Chris was just like, well, if it is someone, there's nothing illegal happening. And like, that's a lot of money to then owe like a company that's just flying their drones around innocently. I, I mean, the government should have something where 
they're so precise they can shoot a wing of it out so it comes down gently. <laughs> well, that's true. Hmm. Or why don't they have a big butterfly net where they go out there and just scoop one up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no one gets hurt. They'll just yeah. be like, come here, little fella. They let like, the Meister Meisterberger out. He comes running out there. Dun, 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 dun. Shout out Meister Meisterberger. So, yeah, the FBI, the FAA, the Fed, which is the Federal Aviation Administration, they're all involved. Nice. Local police are obviously involved. The Department of Homeland Security is involved. The Army and the Air Force report that they don't belong to them. But it is possible, like, that they're withholding things. Chris, we were talking about this earlier. Like, it's possible they're withholding things, but at the same time, it's the government's job and usually their prerogative to not induce, like, a public panic. And it seems like this is something that would make people panic. Like, oh, the government doesn't know what this is? Holy shit. Like, What if it was, like, a bunch of just, like, drunk dudes was like, let's go fly the drones, guys. Yeah. yeah, and they just keep getting drunk and like blacking out and forgetting. They're like, was that us? Was that us driving with our 30? Were we flying our drones 30 deep last night, bro? <laughs> How many people were here last night? I don't remember. <laughs> so, <was> a lot. <laughs> oh, they, the, the agencies, the different agencies that are involved, they contacted many companies that use drones, including Google, Amazon, and none of them admitted involvement. Or, like, claimed involvement. They think there's... I mentioned this earlier. They think there's, like, a control vehicle somewhere. Like, a trailer or, like, a van. And police are on super high alert. And we actually saw evidence of this recently. It's, like, um, the police around here... Because we live maybe, like, a little over an hour south of Denver. And the police around here have really been on high alert. Like... Like, they've been treating abandoned vehicles very seriously. Um, We saw, like, multiple, like, at least six police officers the other day, like, flying down the highway. And then when we got up to pass them, they had just an abandoned vehicle that had been, like, spray-painted. It was, like, a suspicious-looking abandoned vehicle, to be honest with you. But um, I mean, there are a lot of suspicious-looking vehicles uh, around here. Yeah, because you don't have to get your car inspected in Colorado, so there's a lot of hoopties out here. But, uh, yeah, Chris, actually, we forgot to tell you on the way here, we saw it was a, uh, what was that? A, a oh, pun- that little a bug. Buggy? Oh, that was cute. It was no, like a punch even, buggy. Yeah, punch buggy. And literally it was like, it was like camo on the sides, but it was like black and white. And, uh, it was like, like yellow on the top. Yeah. Yellow on the top. And it was a real rust bucket, but it had like fresh wheels and like, looked like a roll cage. And, and like, like they were ready exhaust to race. coming out of different spots. <coughs> it looked super rusty. I was like cute. I don't know. It was weird. It was intri- endearing. Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. So, the police are on high alert, which, like, understandably so. Oh, there was also um, Fort Carson, which is a military base. There's multiple military bases around um, Colorado Springs and just in Colorado in general. Hmm? Steadfast and loyal. (laughs) Steadfast and loyal. So... There's a lot of reasons. Uh, oh, the <gasps> Fort Carson's really cracking down. So oh, was that, to get onto Fort Carson, it was me thinking. To get onto Fort Carson, you typically would have to show your ID and your registration and your proof of insurance, proof of insurance for your car, and uh, get like a visitor's pass. So like, but usually, if like one person had a pass, they would just be like, "Oh, it's the trusted traveler program," is what it's called. They would let like your guest through with you. Um, but they recently started like really cracking down and you can't, you can't scan your pass to get onto Fort Carson anymore. It's like an actual soldier comes out, like looks at it is like, I need to see everyone's ID in the car. Um, I've been seeing them do a lot more searches lately too. They actually searched me last time. I went yeah. To um, last time Joe went on the base, they searched his car, um, which is totally legal. Like you're agreeing to a search whenever you go there. It says so on Is the sign. Is it typical for them to do anal searches, like cavity search? Because they know, did. They took me in the back and they searched me and banned it. <laughs> They're like, they didn't take me in the back. That would be the weird part. <laughs> yeah, they just. They made me drop they, trowel they, right they, there. They, luckily, though, they left me in front of the heater out there. Yeah. Oh, my God. Night. Yeah, that big heater. They have a really nice heater. But, I mean, it's freezing there. I like, <sighs> would not want to be out there. But, so, this either has to be. I just think uh, nobody seems like nobody knows what's really. Yeah, it nobody is has or, any idea what's going on. So it's either like. Or if it is, someone's keeping a a very good secret. Mm, a secret. Mm. I think that's very possible. I think that you know. Do you have a secret? To for tell instance, me? for instance, Do you have a secret to tell me? Area Fifty One. They didn't admit to it being real until like 
fairly recently in history, you know, and they denied it for years and years. So they, they. the ever elusive they, you know, so, them. um, yeah. So yeah. Military bases of Titan security, but, but like how I was saying about they changed the trusted traveler program. It's not clear if it's related to the drone sightings, but like, oh, yeah, I don't know if it's just cause it it's seems like the new coincidental. year and just like cracking down harder yeah. or, but Colorado Springs is considered a target to like enemies of the United States because United States Space Command and NORAD are located here. And these organizations watch airspace and Earth's orbit for potential threats like nuclear bombs because that's how nuclear bombs work. Like they don't just like like fly over to where you are. They're like launched into orbit and then come down. So um, – and that's the only, like, monitoring thing I'm pretty sure, like, in the world. So if that went down, it'd be pretty major. We'd be back in, like, the 50s, like, and everybody would be doing, like, meh, 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 to warn you of an incoming. What's that called? Oh. Is that a telegraph? No, is Morse that a telegraph? code. Morse code. Well, yeah, I think that's a telegraph. Well, I don't know. Is that Morse code when they did that? Yeah, that's, beep, beep, going, that's beep, how they like, communicate. Beep, beep. That's like through Morse code, yeah. Because SOS is three short. Or three short, three long, three short. SOS, SOS. You just got to know the things. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, so. I can neither confirm or deny this fact. The military is doing a lot of drone testing lately. And in 2015, a drone from Fort Carson, which is the military base we were just talking about, and it's in, that's in Colorado Springs, it ended up in a citizen's front yard. What? And, like, I, can you imagine, like, going outside and there being, like, a military drone in your front yard? Which doesn't surprise me, though, because... I have a question. Fort Carson, you like, know. Like, say that happened you know. in our backyard. If I went back there, is it like finders keepers? Is it mine now? Because you like crash landed on my <sighs> Absolutely thing? not. They're tracking that shit. They're coming to your door. You literally Chris, you are going to get, get the GPS knocked, tracker off that sucker. Like a do- like time? You're going to get a knock on your door from some dum dums and. I was like, uniform. hey guys, if I don't get this drone, they're going to kick me out the army. <laughs> Can I get it back? I drove the tank over here. <laughs> really messed up all the roads. They're I drove my pissed. tank. <laughs> my father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and then again in 2017, a one <laughs> and a half million dollar drone from an army installation in Arizona actually drifted in, a, in like a jet stream and ended up in the mountains near Denver, which is so far. Like, That's like. Crazy. I feel like even, like, a flight is at least, like, an hour or two. Because it's, like, a 10 or 11 hour drive. So, that's <coughs> pretty fucking nuts. Um, how high can you go in a drone? I wonder if it just, like, they were seeing how high they could actually go up in it and it just hit one of those. Yeah, like, they like, like, take it higher, Frank. As high as you can going, go. And then going. they're like, listen. They're like, keep going, Frank. And then they're like, what did you do, Frank? Frank, you're totally getting fired for <laughs> wow, this. Wow, Frank. Dude. Who told you? Oh, do you do everything everyone tells you to do, uh, Frank? If they told you to jump off a bridge, would you do that? Yes, I would. <laughs> no, this is for my job. So, um, it's estimated that at least a hundred military drones are crashed and missing around the United States. Is that like per year? I think per year. So, um, which is insane, but I mean, the time we live in, you know, like you can't track drones; they fly too low for you to be able to track Flick them. The mic. I flicked the mic. Oh, I thought you were like saying like, turn off your mic so I can say something. Yeah, turn off your mic. So local storm chasers and curious citizens are investigating. Are we, we're, I think we're a little bit of both, we can say. Now that yeah, I we were actually that, I feel thinking like I about a dream that we like chased a tornado or something recently. We were actually thinking about driving up and camping out and seeing if we see the Oh, ba- we're definitely going to do maybe that we'll as like find, a follow-up. Maybe we'll find the, the – uh, What's the the vehicle they're looking for? The oh, remote the vehicle, command vehicle. The command vehicle. They'll think it's us. And then, no, we'll find <laughs> the we're command like vehicle. Out oh my god! Yeah, they're Prius. like, wow, you it looks kind of suspicious out here. Yeah. No, we'll find it and then we'll demask them like Scooby Doo. 
And they're like, whoa, You jinkies. literally said to me earlier, we're not unmasking somebody like a Scooby-Doo, Aaron. Uh, I said, you no, yelled that at me. I specifically said, you're not going to unmask anybody like a Scooby-Doo. I didn't say anything about me. Okay. My life is like a uh, It's just a funny that's like your go-to lately. So, and Sounds like, like I got a hater over tensions here. Tensions are super high with Iran right now. So people are, or the U.S. is currently on high alert for Iranian drone strikes. And it's not even clear if, like, Iran is capable of this. It doesn't seem um, that reasonable, but it's definitely a possibility. You seem a little pissed off, huh? It's definitely possible that the military is not admitting to it. Like like I said earlier, they denied the existence of Area 51 for years. And also recently, <coughs> they've acknowledged, and only recently, they've acknowledged its existence. So it could be some secret project that affects national security. And there is an Air Force base in Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Wyoming. I wonder, too, I wonder if, like, the government's just doing it to see if they're doing it at a test to see, to test, like, the public to see how quick, like, everyone, like, responds or reacts or even. It's like a social all... experiment. Yeah, like, for They're them. fucking with us, people. We got to band together. We got to band together and shoot them all down. Don't listen to the government. Shoot them all down. <laughs> or governor, the governor. Shoot them all down. Beep. Actually, Aaron don't. Wonderland I, I, not condone this message. We, yeah, I don't condone this at all. But if <laughs> you want to, Beep. you feel compelled. Let's shut his mic off. <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> okay. So, the Air Force Base, um, they they do conduct, the, that's in, the Air Force Base is in Cheyenne, Wyoming, does conduct Drone testing in Wyoming, Colorado, and Nebraska, but they deny any involvement, of course. Um, It's possible that maybe like a business, like a company could have started using drones, like a GPS or mapping organization. Um, And even the government has like USDA mapping farmlands. What if like whoever it was, if it was like the government or the USDA or whoever was like mapping and all that, what if they... uh, um, just came back and was like, sorry guys, it was a goof. You know, it was just so a you're goof. you're telling me you flew these fucking drones mm-hmm. around and scared everyone as a goof. Yeah, it was a goof. So yeah, so it, that's possible, <clears throat> but it's still like, it's definitely odd that no one's coming forward yet. Yeah. And it's like, maybe people are like in over their heads at this point. Like they're like, oh shit. But like, I don't know. Uh, we'll see if it continues or if it just stops because it's literally made international news. So if somebody's like, like doesn't want to come forward because they're worried, like they're going to get in trouble or something, then it might stop. But if Whoa. it's something like maybe that's not even monitoring our news, like, like thinking about and- it now, <laughs> thinking about it now, and just like talking about it now, it's even scarier if like the government doesn't even really know what it is. Like, yeah. If they're, like if they're like, that's another that. thing is the whole conspiracy theory idea that like, Oh, maybe they know and they're lying. That's like something that even I, I didn't realize until you just said it right now. I'm like finding comfort in like, Oh, maybe they know, you know, because it's kind of scary. It is like yeah, you said, it's really, really scary know. if they don't know, like, uh, like whether it's a threat to like national security or just, like earth in general, you know, super scary and extra scary because we live so close to where this is happening. And we are definitely going to like camp out and try to figure out what's going on here. We should just leave tonight and go. Cause I've been if, being seen between like now and like 10 PM. What if it was aliens? Well, that's da, the da, thing da, too. Da, da. So it's really weird though. Cause like you think they'd have some type of way to even, since they know they've been coming out at night, like, you think they'd set up a couple people where they've been sighting and try to, like, even have some way to track them back to where they're, like, landing at? Because, you know, they're, unless they're, there's no way they're just flying around. Yeah, like, like I don't understand. And th- that's what I'm saying. They're saying that they're flying in formation, too. Yeah. So, like, are, are the police just not taking people's reports seriously and then well, just have to do it after the fact? Well, they also said that, like we said earlier, that one guy said he tried falling and it was just going so fast. So it's probably hard to track them on a foot. But there's got to be some type he of... He was driving. Well, yeah, there's got to... Yeah, like, or, or in a car. But there's got to be, like, some type of way to track, like, lower radar than what we can detect. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe. Maybe I'm just giving the the government or whatever too much credit. Exactly. Like, you're finding, like, comfort in, like, oh, maybe they know or maybe they – because if they have the ability to track it, then that means they probably have the ability to know what it is or, like, yeah. maybe even it is them, you know? Like, but it says – um, It would be scary if it was 
alien. Well, let's step back a little bit because it could just be a hobbyist. And this one's kind of like a long shot, but definitely still possible because these drones could cost at least a million dollars according to aviation experts. And that would be like a super expensive hobby. But I mean, people like have expensive hobbies. Who huh? could even afford that? You'd have to be like a like a Rockefeller. Yeah, but like just like because that. we don't live in the realm where like we're super rich or like we know people who are super rich doesn't mean that that well, doesn't exist. You know, people don't also have like too, money to blow. Also too, they've been flying at night. What if it was like some hobbyist that just figured out the way to make like a whole bunch of ones like for real Like cheap. a whole bunch of drones and like ju- flew, they just fly together. Lights. Yeah, they just have lights on them so like they, they could look like way better than what they are since it's night. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad point. So a threat to Homeland Security, like I said, is definitely possible. And, um, but flying, flying drones is, um, isn't technically illegal. So no one seems to know who's flying them. So it would be possible and definitely makes sense. But, you know, I'm hoping that's not what it is. They and haven't been flying in any air bases or anything, Finally. Well, no, but they're very close. Like, and that's another weird thing is that there's so many, like, military bases around here. The fact that they haven't flown into their airspace. Because can they shoot them down if they fly into military Yeah, I think they can shoot them if they airspace? fly over because they, they think it's a threat. Yeah, and I am pretty positive that it's, like, that's, like, a blackout restricted, zone. It's, or, yeah, it's, like, yeah, a restricted, restricted fly airspace. zone. Like, yeah. no fly zone. Yeah, no fly zone. I knew there was, like, a thing for it. So, um, but this is like the most exciting of all the theories and Ooh. all of the theories are crazy. So, um, oh, what was the one we were talking about? Oh, oh, the, we were talking about how the, the one law was passed. I don't know when, I think in like May or something, someone signed, like Trump signed a bill that you'd have to start registering your drones. Um, and they'd be like monitored more closely, like almost like your car, like how you have to so register you know, your car. Like, so if you wrecked or whatever, they'd be like, Oh, Phil, Aaron Rector car over here. Yeah. Phil's yard. Like Aaron Rector. You're paying for this window, drone Aaron. And just left it there. <clears throat> so this could be like a response, like a, um, what's that called? Like a protest to the law mm. or on the flip side, it could be like some kind of like false flag. Like, oh, look what happens if you don't register your drones. It's scary shit. Yeah, because, like, this is, like, happened coincidentally when that bill's, like, coming mm-hmm. out, too. And it's just very strange. Like, I just feel like the government would not be – I feel like they would just be like, nothing to worry about. Like, or, or would not even be acknowledging it or reporting it if they didn't know. Or if it was then they'd just be like, yeah, we flew some drones over here. We're doing some tests. Everyone's just be like, oh, it's okay. Just, it just seems weird. Yeah, or they'd be, like, taking credit for it yeah, until think, they like, figured the, it out. You think, like, the Air Force or Just the way whoever. they did with the, 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 the one, like, alien crash. They were like, oh, that was a air balloon, like an Air Force air balloon. Oh, hot weather or hot weather? Yeah, a weather balloon or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, so um, there's a lot of theories and stuff, but my favorite one is aliens. Aliens. <laughs> so if contact hasn't been made yet, it makes sense they would send some kind of spy drone to evaluate things before they come here. Like if we – like right now, we send – like probes yeah, especially. and stuff to different planets to explore. And there was recently a planet that was discovered that's like relatively close to us. And I just feel like that Maybe. would be the first step. You'd like fly in and check it out and be like, hey, what's going on here? Well, thinking about it too, we have so much garbage and debris like around our atmosphere. They'd be like, you know, it's sending those little drones so like no one gets hurt and see what's yeah. going on. Joe so said he thought they sense. were like little teeny tiny. Oh my like, God. No. Aliens they're, they're aliens, in, but, but really that's drone. like their full ship and they're like that tall. Yeah, like, that's how big they are, which would be adorable. Oh my and God. quite a relief. Because Could you imagine it? though if they landed and they had like little man syndrome, like we're here to take over your entire planet. Oh, you're so cute. No. Like baby, a bunch of baby Yodas. Oh. So relevant. Oh my God, you guys. Yoda's coming to see us. Invite the drones to your home. Put baby Yoda here. Baby He's so Yoda. cute. I don't know if we're allowed to use him, but um, we could put like a crudely drawn picture of him there. Or maybe a hot dog. I just with feel Tim's. like lately with the tensions running high and not even just lately, just in all of humanity's history, it's like we're all so divided and like we're this country and we're that country, but like we're just citizens of Earth and I feel like if it was the aliens, it would be a good thing because it would like unite everyone and be like, oh my God, like 
like there's something else out there and either like if the aliens are bad and we have to like all band together and fight them which is probably what's going to happen because we fight each other like you know what i mean if we find out there's another planet we're like oh the plutonians oh. like you know like we they're hate not gonna them. come here and take our job yeah 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 we <laughs> gotta build a space wall <laughs> yeah, space wall exactly so <laughs> i just feel like as crazy as it seems it might be like the best option and best outcome and who knows because i want to believe and the truth is out there so anyways do you have anything else that you want to add or that you're thinking about with this i don't know it's uh it's definitely weird. I definitely want to get more information on it. Too. I know. We'll definitely do like updates on this as it unfolds because it's literally happening right now. Right, you know, right. um, we'll tell you if we see if we have an encounter ourselves. We're definitely gonna go camp out like one of like either tonight or maybe tomorrow. We want to see them. You know, we want to figure out what's going on. We want to be involved and. Um, if they're that's another thing. again tonight, we're going out tomorrow. They've been seeing, there's been a lot of reports since it's been publicized. And that's when things get tricky because people like to get involved, like after things get publicized. Um, For their 15 minutes of fame. Exactly. Yeah, those, 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 those fame those, whores. Those fame whores. I don't know who would ever do something like <laughs> that. I wish like you could like that. pan around oh. the room right now and see how it looks oh. in here. But um, yeah, so it's like hard to know like what's real and what's not, but... And, and I, like, I've I, I've just always wanted to, like, see something weird. Like, I really, I feel like I... Scully, Mulder, Mulder, Scully, Mulder, Mulder. I feel like Mulder. Like, like I'm very skeptical, but I really, really so desperately what, want to believe, you know? Mulder's, Mulder's the girl? Mulder's the guy in the basement who's, like, nuts, but... Like, still reasonable, you know? Like, reasonable enough to keep his job, but nuts enough to, like, be like, oh, God, put Mulder in the basement. <laughs> you know? Don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah, don't want to talk to anyone. You take but anyways, so, yeah, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. So, thank you guys for listening. This wait, wait, has before been... we go, I want to say one thing. I hope it's little mini aliens. Oh, little baby Yodas. But... Like, oh, and they'll be so cute. Conquer and they'll be your like, planet, we do. Conquer your planet, we will. <laughs> yeah, like, like I was going to say they'll be like little cute things that we could like. I almost said that we could keep them as pets. And then what I just realized like, like, God, humans suck. <laughs> what if they look like Nibbler from Futurama? <gasps> oh. Yeah, but Nibbler's like a monster. No, Nibbler's like there to help save their planet. Yeah, but Nibbler's like. He's not like a monster. He can like kill things. And, like, well, that's he why his name's Nibbler. He's like, but he's like friendly. Just eat stuff when he he's likes hungry. to eat animals and stuff. Certain animals. He'd eat all our dogs. He'd be on an all wolf diet. All beep of them. <laughs> all, all right, guys, all look at this jar. Guess how many dogs them. we have? Leave a comment. Oh, 101 <laughs> of them Dalmatians. Yeah, we have 101. Oh my god, I didn't even like think of. Wait a minute, were those all? Yeah, they're Pongo those. and Purdy's? Like, was that one litter? That was one litter. I guess. I don't Damn, honestly don't know. Damn, girl, we got to Google this. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. And on 101 Dalmatians. And then and then they had another litter, and it was 102. And they, so they only had 100 in the first, or 101 in the first litter, and then a, one in the next. Makes Fucking sense. sick. Makes sense. Fucking sick. That's funny that you remember his name was Pongo. I didn't even Pongo remember and Perdita. That. That's so funny. That's why I named the dog. Whenever I was in the Red Dead stream, I named the one dog Pongo because he looked like a Dalmatian. Oh, yeah? Or, I mean, not the dog, the horse. Interesting. Check out the streams on YouTube. Um, this has been the Aaron in Wonderland podcast. So, like I said, check out the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Aaron in Wonderland. Become a Patreon. Do uh, it. Patreon.com slash Aaron in Wonderland. Do Just it. Give me a fucking dollar. <laughs> Got some one change. Dollar. Got any like, spare change. Even if you can't you know, subscribe monthly. It would just help us out a lot to be able to do more giveaways, to be able to travel places, um, to do more videos, uh, uh, and would actually give you more say. We'll give you like a shout out on the podcast, that right. kind of thing. So let us know what else you'd like to see. And remember to stay weird. Because the, because truth the truth is out there. Is out there. Hey, Bandit. Boom. Boom.